so it's Jeannie Girl's two mile walk tonight. She's very lucky because I so did not want to do it. Really don't still want to do it. We're bottom of the road down there's the mile. We've got Mount Everest there to climb on the way back. So come here. She's been by far the easiest not pulling. Come here. She's a good girl, isn't she? Ah, 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 sit. There's a good lady. Ah, ah, come here. Come here. She wants to take the grass. Come here. Come here a minute. Hey, come here. You a good girl? Hey. Good girl, see. Look at this snuggles. Oh, she's poor over my ankle. She's got to be touching. She's everything a service dog needs to be. Except without the training. And she's very protected. Come here. Oh, you're all tangled up now. Come here. Come here. Sit down. See if she could have done the... She doesn't know. No, sit. Freaking walking in circles. Good girl. Right, lift that leg up. Now move. This leg. Right, let's go for a walk. So, it's been nice. Totally overstimulated when she first came out because this is the first time she's been out. And as you can see, the grass, she's been doing this all the way. We did meet the neighbour with her dog pretty... Within maybe 100 feet, no, a couple of hundred feet of coming out of the drive. She didn't notice him at first. He was on the other side of the road. As we got close, I put her on a short lead because we got the handle there. So I could control her. As soon as she sees the dog, she starts going crazy, barking, trying to pull. Um, but what the... Come here, is that a tick? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Get that little... Come here. Keep still. Let him. Let him. A little bloody tick there. Not bit you yet. No, lie down. Good girl, there we go. Right, get up. Right, so, sorry to get a tick off her. Um, yeah, so she's going mental. I'm pulling her back. And the, the other dog was on a retractable leash. And he was allowed to come all the way across the road up to her. So I'm pulling her away because she's going crazy. The other dog's going crazy. Not in an aggressive way. They both wanted to get to know each other and play. However, she's totally overstimulated because this is the first time she's been out. She's not under control. She's barking, going crazy. The other dog wasn't under control. He was barking, pulling. So I said to the, the lady, like, can you pull your dog away? So she pulled him back, got him on a, a um, short leash, and then we kind of passed each other. She was apologetic, which, you know, it doesn't need to be. It's things happen. It was a good experience for both dogs. Like I say, she's never been out before, and um, the other dog doesn't get to meet many other dogs walking up and down the road because... There's not many other dogs walk up and down the road. So, that's something to remember when you first get dogs. When they go out, they're so overstimulated. You've got to remember how much smell they've got, or how much, whatever the words are, how much they can process. So you think going to a new environment, all them smells are rushing through all the wild animals, the breeze, the different plants, the humans, the cars, everything. They're processing which is why it's important to take dogs on walks. Um, even if you've got couch potato dogs, even if you've got old dogs or friggin' senior dogs, whatever, you know, get them on a walk and let them smell because they process so much. She's been smelling all the skunk poo and what other creatures. She's not eating it. I'm obviously not letting her eat it. She's not tried to, but I've let her smell it. I've stood there for 10 seconds and let her smell it. Because that's processing through her brain, so that's using her brain. It's giving her something else to think about, you know, so it's important you do things like that. So as you can see, she walks at a really nice pace. Now, when I say like she's really high energy and she's got to be an active family, she's gonna be knackered when we get back because we've done two miles. She's not done a structured walk before. So she can run and play as much as she wants all day, round and about. But it's not structured. She's running, then she's lying down, then she's running, then she's wrestling, then she's chilling out. And, you know, that's, it's good. It's better than nothing. But they still need this structured walk. Because then, it's like with humans, you know. Yes, you can be on your feet all day, walking round and round and round. 
but it's not the same as doing like this a two mile walk or a one mile walk or 10 minutes on the treadmill it's structured you, you focus you're burning off them calories rather than stop start sit down do some this do some that so i'm not a trainer i'm not a behaviorist just somebody that's used to high energy dogs so this beautiful girl she needs somebody that can handle high energy dogs and dogs that are gonna be like i say she's she's very um i don't want to say reactive because she's not but she's she's overstimulated that's the words i was looking for so the more she gets out the more new places she goes to that's gonna lessen that but when she does meet other dogs for the first time she can be really like ah crazy crazy not in a bad way she just wants to get to see him it's somebody that can handle that as well as give another lifestyle that she needs which is hikes trips to the beach trips to the lake so this when she's going to be tired after doing a couple of miles this is just should be a warm-up for her so anyway as you can see she walks lovely on the leash i am looking for a high energy family if you're not active you know if i adopt a dog like her out to somebody who isn't active she's going to come back in six months 12 months 18 months because she's not getting the lifestyle that she needs so she's getting disruptive she's getting bored the family are getting annoyed with her because she's getting disruptive she's getting bored and then it just causes a really bad environment you know rescues don't not adopt dogs to people because they're being spiteful we do it because we want what's best for the dogs we do it because we don't want the dogs coming back because as much as people think oh it's a familiar place no it's yeah it might be familiar but it's not good you know they don't come back going yay i'm back at the rescue i'm gonna be stuck in a kennel or i'm gonna be stuck living with 20 dogs again yay no they don't think that at all they're stressed they're upset they're suffering with abandonment issues because they don't know what the heck's gone on again why is the family that loved them now dumping them again so we do all that we can to try and make it be a right fit the first time to prevent that to make it so it's a happy situation for everybody so anyway this is genie girl Give it up. what have you seen what is it is it a stop sign you're barking at I'll stop sign. <laughs> right, I've done our we're at our mile marker now, girl. Come on, this way. Here we go back. Yeah, so Jean is available for adoption from Give a Dog a Home.